All right, hello and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? Today we're going to do another whip and chat with Diamond Art Club's So Many Books, So Little Time by Randall Spangler. All right, all this, tons of fun. Cat hanging out, draggling and eating a cookie. All right, square drill, 22 inches by 43 inches, 56 centimeters by 109 centimeters. 53 colors, including two ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis. And they're an iridescent coated type of drill that sparkles a little brighter than that of regular drills. Anything under DMC code or color code 150 is considered an AB from Diamond Art Club. All right, how's it going? Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. It's a little overcast here, a bit windy. All right, 498. This dark red here. It's a draggling's head. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, fifth, sixth, seventh book. Some books in the background. Yeah, that's <laughs> so what's going on in this uh, little segment here. Uh, 498. Okay, there's still some uh, 498 kicking here. Wow, that drill went off kilter. All right, just checking. Ah, that, yeah, it was right here. Okay, cool. Hopefully you're crafting and other hobbies and projects are going fine. I'll just hang out for a bit, for sure. Get some more uh, drills on adhesive here. All right, let's see how it goes. Yeah, so now I'm back on days for my full-time job. And I don't have any part-time hours this week, so let's see how that goes. It's kind of a bummer, but, oh. Eh. Oh, well. So just the spine of the book here, it's on the stack. Yeah, yeah I just got to kind of watch the symbols here. It's uh, multiple shades of red in this area, this book. But the shading's awesome in this, so it's worth it. <laughs> it's worth the little uh, challenge here. I guess there's going to be a Despicable Me 4, so seen the trailer for that. <laughs> like, okay, uh, I guess. Oh boy, I think uh, they're out of ideas if they're going for a fourth Despicable Me movie. Oh boy. Oh well. So, here we are. <laughs> yeah, well, see how it goes. I had seen the trailer on TikTok or whatever, so. so. Yeah, minions are still in it, and yeah. It's just a. It's be a weird good time, I guess. I think the Barbie movie is going back in the theaters. Or did I read that wrong? I don't know. Because they got a whole bunch of it received a whole bunch of nominations uh, for Academy Awards. Was it Academy Awards? Uh, yeah, just nominations. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. If you have Crave, you can just watch the Barbie movie on that. But they're the only streaming service that offers Barbie. Pretty sure it's probably on YouTube if you purchase it to like rent or buy or whatever to watch it. 
So I had like the first season of Friends, like I purchased the first season of Friends and I can stream it on YouTube anytime. Kind of forgot that, that I did that, but yeah, in the back of my mind, it's like, yeah. <laughs> Still have the first season of Friends available. <laughs> I could buy like all the seasons and like just stream it on YouTube and binge, but I don't know, it's a season at a time. It's kind of a show that you can just pop back into Friends, that is. But, yeah. I never watched it during its syndication, so well, it was originally on TV, but that's why. Sip of coffee here. I don't know. I'm really not one who goes to the theater too much, so despicable me for probably just wait until it's on TV or something. <laughs> despicable me always that one of those movies always seems to be on TV on one of the kids channels or whatever we turn to that we turn to on occasion it's out of nowhere we just start watching Spongebob or something <laughs> it's just turn to YTV every now and then just to watch a movie we've probably or a Lego movie that I've seen like a couple times already the Lego Batman movie yeah I've seen that a couple times <laughs> Uh, oh dear. Mm. Okay, let's make sure I don't diamond paint beyond. Yeah, let's put one there. Yeah, I'll just start filling it in here. Yeah, a little bit of a horizontal color block here. This red still. There's a few more symbols left. But this morning just seemed to go by so quick at work. It was so weird. <laughs> One minute you're looking at the clock and it's like midnight and then the next is like 5.30 in the morning. It's like, what? Like, what happened? Where did the time go? Like, <laughs> it's like, wow. Before I knew it, it was like 7 in the morning and then came home, had breakfast, slept for maybe two hours, got up prepared supper, went on, ran an errand, seen my uh, part-time uh, worker buddies, bored at work. <laughs> I don't feel like working today. <laughs> okay, that's the spirit. It's just one of those days. <laughs> okay. It's like full-time staff where I'm talking to, it's like... I don't want to be here today. Yep, that's the Monday thing. Yep, I think everybody feels the same way on Mondays. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Garfield uh, still hates Mondays. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I have to start the week somehow, but... Yeah, Mondays aren't always a fantastic set-off, but... Oh well. <laughs> you just take it a moment at a time. That's all you can really do. Don't panic that it's Monday. This is just going to make the day uh, a little rougher. Ugh. <laughs> I feel a lot more awake and alert than 
I have in the past from like sleeping longer, but it's got two hours today, but well, th this morning so I could salvage the day. That's how my night shift stuff works. So I can, so I could be sitting here diamond pinning for a bit today. <laughs> At this point. I'll sleep tonight, like as normal, but... Ah. But, bah, just want to sw sleep longer, but, yeah, it will just totally screw me over if I do try to sneak in a siesta or something. Nope. <laughs> Won't work well. I'm a night owl anyway, but... Yeah, it's still, I'll just be screwed up for tomorrow to function in general. But now that I'm on day shift, uh, yeah, I just totally flip. If I say it out loud, then my body just flips back. <laughs> Probably not, but... <laughs> just suggest the idea that hey I'm back on days so <laughs> maybe I'll sleep half decently yeah okay mm. oh you're supposed to do that when you lie in bed you're supposed to sleep oh oops okay mm. I'm a fairly light sleeper I believe so that's not me mm. Okay, how about we do an A B again? Yeah, let's do it. Let's hang out. Let's hang out do it in A B. One, three, four. Okay. Get this going. Alright, cool. Get the tweezers out. Alright, it's this green. It's this green A B. Just in case you haven't seen an A B. Aurora Borealis and the coating. See the reflection? Yeah, this is an AB, one of the many. So, yeah, this has a nice little coating on the top, so I don't use the diamond painting pen for this. People have seen ABs hundreds of times, they're like, yeah, uh, that's an AB. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, <Ow. laughs> just one. Mm. Show and tell. Woo! Alright. Okay, just the draggling's arm here. Just, I guess, where the light is shining. So, just decorate the... One of the draggling's arms here. It's a nice gentle staircase. Yeah, thought I'd save... I'll try to save ABs for when I am recording. Yeah, don't see them too often on here, <laughs> on this canvas at the moment, but yeah, I'll just try to make sure to save ABs. Yeah, it's kind of nice having some bling every once in a while. So yeah, good. Alright, cool. Yeah, ABs are spread out nicely, and they're used in a great way on this canvas in my opinion so yeah they're the only special drills in this kit but I'll run into a kit a diamond art club kit eventually that has fairy dust or something drills in it yeah, I'll get one of those kits eventually see how it goes <laughs> that haven't really ordered any like new like new release kits like that I've seen unboxings for from Diamond Art Club. So uh, couple that I'm really interested in that I think do have the fairy dust drills in it or something. But I 
I don't I think fairy dust drills are probably something you have to see. Probably a very subtle detail compared to that of these ABs. Yeah. Probably a very subtle uh kind of glitter. Yeah, this coating is just on top of the drills, these AB drills. I think it's just like put on. And then the fairy dust has the glitter within the drills. Like infused with it. So I think that's a major difference. And then, yeah, as I said, subtle shimmer for the fairy dust. So. Oh, second AB is in the dra draggling's eye poke. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> yeah. Here's the draggling's eye. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Quit out. Few ABs on the straggling this body. Holy, just seemed like just a few ones, but yeah, this is like a subtle color block, almost. Oh, those two. Are... Oh, separate them. A couple of the ABs were stuck together, and I just tapped the tweezers on top of them, and they separated. So, okay. <laughs> Surprise! I don't know. It's on a man now. Ugh. Brain's just going everywhere. Wee! Get keep putting drills on adhesive. Yeah, everything will be fine. Uh, drooling on the canvas, Chase. Ah. <laughs> All right. Yay. Uh, seems like a really weird place for ABs to be, but this is where the light's probably shining. I don't know if there's like a lamp on, like on the left hand side, like beyond the view of the books, or the moon's shining, and I don't understand the dynamic of light in this but the dynamic of light and shadow but it's a cool canvas so so <laughs> let's just go along with it shall we <laughs> why not <laughs> science <laughs> all right oh wow there's one and two a b in here Okay, it probably work. Just seems like a lot of ABs on this draggling's face, but here we are. Alright. Along the draggling's mouth here. Yeah, just kind of going everywhere. Might as well just go bleh. little journey here. Right. Oh, if I don't go blind from like the reflection of light off the AB co coating here, jeez. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I'm blind. Sparkle, sparkle. All right, just giving her. Okay.
Uh, just another regular day here. Just nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, just chilling. <laughs> Usually go quiet sometimes <laughs> on here. This is just diamond painting away. It's like, oh, uh, recording. Oops. <laughs> do do do. Whoopsies. Shimmering. Am I go blind? Help me. Okay. Oh, flat end on the adhesive. Okay, thanks. Okay, the convex, the faceted side down. Nope, nope. Flat side down. Faceted side facing up. There you go. Diamond painting 101. Yeah, I've only diamond painted for like two or three years now. It's, that's been a blur. I don't even know how many canvases I've done or <laughs> completed. I don't keep track of that stuff. I just go from project to project. <laughs> Yippee! Yep, it's keeping it simple here. <laughs> it's like, get too complicated here. Oh, it's all good. Yeah, if you get like a kind of journal or record keeping book and you have to keep that up to date and it's just, it's probably very straightforward to keep up to date and like basic information, but I don't know when I started this. <laughs> I'd like have to look back in like the YouTube videos. I don't do that start date end date stuff. Like I start it when I started and I finish when I finish. It's like I But it's good for individuals who like keeping track of that stuff, like of course. But oh, it's just it sounds like extra work. Uh have enough fun just trying to get the drills straight on the half decent. <laughs> just wow, it's just a lot of A B action on this dragling's face. It didn't look like much, but now just putting the A B's on, it's just like woo. Draglings really sparkling. Wonder if the draggling up top has tons of A B's on it. Him, her. I don't know. Which one's the male? Which one's the female? In this canvas, their tails are kind of hidden. I think the draggling at the top has the uh, balls on its tail showing. Do we in. Dagmar, I believe, are the draglings. Yeah, I kind of asked a draggling expert who probably has all the Randall Spangler canvases. <laughs> probably has a done a good chunk of them, or likes dra dragons or the draglings in general. Yeah, I totally forgot. I just asked on behalf of somebody else, like for somebody else. I was kind of curious too, like the male, female, their names and all that. But yeah, I must have answered that in a comment or something. Like I replied back after asking. Uh, fellow content creator How about the draglings Which one's the male and which one's the female it the answer somewhere in One of these whipping chats for this canvas. So. Okay, I should oh <laughs> Whole reason I did like the a B's and I just like just totally disregard the 
Mm. Don't worry, that's just the cover for the tweezers. That's all that is. Just so I don't lose the cover for the tweezers. Okay, I'll do the... Oh, excuse me. This uh, line of ABs, huh? It's got so consumed with the draglings face the it's like oh this is the reason why i jumped on the ab's because this uh string of ones was here it was the next kind of symbol just hanging out in kind of my left to right symbol completion order yep ocd mm-hmm <laughs> Twenty-six minutes. Yeah. Get in there. Ah. At least get the ABs done. I hope. Have to get that AB on first. <laughs> Get this drill down first. Uh. <laughs> Oops. Uh, drills are now launching out of the tray. Talent. I don't know how that didn't end up on the floor, but it just ended up on the drafting table. I was just tapping the top of two that were stuck together and they came apart, but yeah. All of them sl flew slightly out of the tray. Yeah, every time I tidy up under the drafting table after I finish a canvas, there's always drills on the floor. Like, yeah, guaranteed that you're going to launch a couple of drills or drop drills somehow, somewhere along the line. Perfectly normal. Yeah. <laughs> If you didn't realize it at the time that you dropped the drill. Yep. Just managed to... Or I found drills that... Yeah, must have missed the broom bristles entirely. I found like a round drill. I don't remember the last time I did a like a round diamond painting. Except for like Ravine Fillin's IM. <laughs> I believe that was around. That was like a year or so ago. If not two... That was one of my first diamond art globes. Second or third one. Mm. Oh yeah, there's the ABs, so I'm glad I got those. That's cool. Yeah, that's just coming together nice, actually. It's a nice section. <laughs> it's probably because of the different colors. Ooh, colors. <laughs> that's why I did this canvas. <laughs> Color. <laughs> Woo! Probably won't do a whole bunch of canvases that are bursting with color all the time, but I uh, can try to go for it. This Chuck Pence and Dreamer Designs one. Yeah, I'll have fall colors in it. So, that's nice. I like fall. So, that'll be a while, but yeah, that's after the Cardinals. I'm going to do this in between before the Chuck Pinson discontinued Dreamer Designs one. Alright. Uh, what's her next? Uh, six. Is that a six? Maybe. That looks like a six. Okay. Uh, 850. All right, but yeah, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Down below in the description, I put the main website links for Conqueror and Pacer. Just fitness incentive app, apps slash website. I won't earn a commission or anything if you go click on the links provided in the description. I don't have any discount codes. It's just something I do, and I just show list the challenges that I'm doing under each URL for the corresponding uh, 
website or whatever. So yeah, just I'll mention like doing word search while riding the elliptical bike or yeah, distance challenges or walking challenges is what I call it down on the description. But yeah, uh, anything related to Echoes of Color, like the channel here, I'll just post here on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I don't have social media, uh, so as far as I'm going for that, there's a whole whip and chat where I spent like half an hour repeating myself like eight or nine times, and somebody noticed. <laughs> yeah, I'm not on social media anymore, so yeah. So I'll just post uh, channel updates, section completion updates, I saw them, I'd call them quick section completion updates. Q S C U. <laughs> I usually just write out the whole uh, thing I'm a jigger. I say the diamond painting company, the artist, the name of the canvas, uh, and describe what goes on in the completed section. Even though it's blatantly obvious, but hey, here we are. But anyway, take care. All the best with your crafting endeavors slash hobbies, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.